Hey guys, in this video, we'll go over the start topology using Cisco Packet Tracer. Now, I will quickly go through the menu options and I place the description of what the application does. However, the goal of the video is to simulate an AV over IP network setup in start topology. Let's go to the switch section. I will be selecting multi-layer switches and I'll explain the reason why later on. So let's use the 3650 switch as the core switch. We'll select the 3560 for the distribution switches. Now let's label them properly. We'll call the core switch AV over IP core switch. Let's label the first multi-layer distribution switch as AV over IP D switch 01. And we'll do the same for the second distribution switch and call it AV over IP D switch 02. Let's just label everything so it can be organized and easy to grasp. Now the next step is to connect the switches together in the start topology. Let's start with the core switch. As you can see, the ports are gigabit ports. Let's connect to Gigabit Ethernet port 1, since we don't have SFPs. Now let's connect to AV over IP D switch 01. As you can see it has fast Ethernet and Gigabit ports. But we're interested in more bandwidth so we'll select Gigabit Ethernet 1. The minimum you want for AV over IP is 1 Gigabit. Now. Let's establish the connection to the second switch from the core. Let's select the Gigabit Ethernet 2 on the core switch and then select Gigabit Ethernet 1 on the AV over IP D switch 02. Let's check the core switch configuration. Now for this model, we have to add the power supplies for the switch. Let's go double check the same for the other switches. As you can see, the power cable is directly connected to the switch, so the power supply is built in and it's not modular. Let's check the second switch. Since they're the same model, the same will apply. Let's go add some endpoint devices. Let's add a laptop. and a generic wired device. Now let's connect these devices to the first distribution switch. Go to connections, select copper, select fast ethernet zero on the laptop and connect it to fast Ethernet 0 on the distribution switch 1. Let's label the device AV over IP transmitter. Actually, let's abbreviate it. 
Okay, now let's connect the device to Fast Ethernet port 2 and let's label the laptop properly. Now we see some type of communication between all of the devices. It's really simulating on layer 1 where it's transmitting raw bits rather than logical packets on the quote unquote physical link. Now let's go into the CLI of the course switch to run a few commands and update the course hostname. Let's type enable to get us into switch privileged mode. Let's use the show CDP neighbors command to see if we can see other switches physically connected to the core. Let's type show interfaces trunk to see if there are any trunk connections. Nothing. Let's see the switch's current configuration quickly. Look like nothing's set. So let's get back on track and go into global configuration mode by typing configure terminal. And let's update the core's hostname. As you can see, it's instantly updated to the new hostname. So we'll save it using the right command. So the great news is that we'll have to configure it all. So now let's take a look at the course config. Okay, now we can see the hostname updated in the running config. And since we saved it, it's also the same in the startup config. More on that later. In the part two of this video, we'll continue and set up the VLAN, trunk and access ports, port channel, and have some more fun. Leave your questions in the comment section. Stay